In the last lesson, we learned about natural and whole numbers. Now it's time to look at what we can do with whole numbers. We call these operations. It's actually processes that we perform every day. So what are these operations? It's the process of adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing whole numbers by other whole numbers. Let's look at them in more detail. Addition is the process of adding two or more whole numbers. An example would be 34 plus 12. That gives you 46, which is also a whole number. You could also add more numbers, like 200 plus 30 plus 24. And you get 254. Then we have multiplication. This is where we add one number to itself as many times as the other number shows. In this equation, we multiply 14 by 12. So we add 14 to itself 12 times. And we get 168, which is also a whole number. Here's another example. 78 and 3 are both whole numbers. And when we multiply them by each other, we get 234, another whole number. Whereas whole numbers get bigger when you add or multiply them by whole numbers, they get smaller when they are subtracted from or divided. When we subtract 8 from 13, we get 5. And when we subtract 89 from 347, we get 258. That's still a whole number, but it's smaller than 347. Lastly, we have division of whole numbers by other whole numbers. Division is when you split one number into as many equal pieces as the other number. When we divide 21 by 7, we are dividing 21 into 7 even pieces. We get 3, which is a whole number, but smaller than 21. When we divide 355 by 5, we get 71. Now you know that operations with whole numbers refer to the process of adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing a whole number by another whole number. Why not try doing some whole number operations yourself? You probably use them every day already. Happy adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing!